secrets about the vampire squid revealed. Welcome to another episode. If you enjoy this type of content, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. This gentle scavenger floats through the deep sea collecting marine snow and other drifting debris with long feeding filaments. Despite its name, the vampire squid is not a squid. Its unique characteristics set it apart from other cephalopods and help it survive in the ocean's darkest depths. Classification Scientists name this animal Vampyrotuthus infernalis, which means vampire squid from hell. But this name is misleading. It's not a squid at all. It sits alone in phylum Mollusca as the only living member of the family Vampyrotuthidae. In fact, the vampire squid has a history of misclassification. When it was discovered in 1903, it was classified as a type of serried octopus like the flapjack octopus since it has webbing between its arms and a pair of fins on its mantle. In the 1940s and 50s, however, scientists determined that it was neither an octopus nor squid, but part of a different group based on its unique features. Appearance What big eyes you have! One of the vampire squid's most striking characteristics is its large eyes. In fact, it has, proportional to body size, the biggest eyes of any living animal. If you watch a video of a vampire squid, you might see its eyes glow bright blue. But they're not actually blue. A vampire squid's eyes are clear, but when illuminated by the ROV's lights, they reflect the surrounding water and appear blue. Bright Blue Bits At the tip of each of the vampire squid's arms, a light-producing organ produces bright blue bioluminescence. Tentacles and Filaments the vampire squid has two fine tentacles or filaments that can extend up to eight times the length of its body. Each filament has tiny hairs and sensory nerves that help it sense its surroundings and possibly detect food. Cloak When startled, a vampire squid inverts its webbed arms, producing a cloak that covers its mantle. This motion exposes spiky-looking fleshy appendages called cirri on the back of its webbed arms, usually iridescent. Colors a vampire squid can be a reddish rust color or black. Its color varies by region. Off the coast of California, vampire squids are rust color, but in other parts of the world are black. Habitat The vampire squid lives in the oxygen minimum zone. Though the cold, dark, low oxygen waters of the sea make survival difficult for most animals, for the vampire squid, it's a safe haven free of many predators. A seafood diet the vampire squid's keen sight likely allows it to see larger particles of marine snow to eat them. Diet The vampire squid is no bloodsucker. It's a detritivore, meaning it eats dead organic material. It's the only living cephalopod species that doesn't eat live prey. Defense Strategies Unlike most other cephalopods, the vampire squid doesn't produce ink. It uses other strategies to help it stay safe from predators. Regrowing Limbs If the top of one of the vampire squid's arms gets broken or bitten off, it can regenerate, a small sacrifice in exchange for a quick escape. Mating Unlike most other cephalopods, a vampire squid reproduces multiple times in its life. A male vampire squid transfers his sperm to the female with his funnel, a cylindrical muscular structure found in all cephalopods used for respiration and movement. The female uses the sperm to fertilize her eggs, then releases them into the water column. She releases only a few eggs at a time and uses relatively little energy when spawning. Life Cycle After the vampire squid egg is fertilized, it develops into larva with a large head and eight short arms. As a juvenile, the vampire squid has four fins on its mantle. Two of these fins gets reabsorbed into the animal's body as it matures. This is unique among all living cephalopods and confused scientists for many years. They thought the adult vampire squid was a separate species from the juvenile. Because the vampire squid has a distinct appearance in each of its stages of development, scientists at one point thought there were as many as 10 different species of vampire squid. Predators The part of the deep sea the vampire squid calls home is low in oxygen and therefore also free of many predators. But predators exist nonetheless and include fishes, cephalopods, sea lions, sharks, and whales. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about secrets about the vampire squid revealed. 
If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for content just like it.